Hello, I'm Rod Sampson, the US agent for Brunson's Propellers. In this video, we're going to show you the final stages of taking apart an Autoprop H6 propeller before we start to rebuild it with a new fresh set of bearings. So in the last video, I actually took all the blades off and we stripped it all down. Um, we're getting very close now um, to being able to start to put it back together. Obviously, we're going to give it a clean. But before we do that, one of the, one of the hardest um, uh, tasks in the stripping down the propeller, apart from the big pipe taking off the, uh, the, uh, the cap nut, um, is actually the fiddly part of getting the, uh, the bearing races out of the hub, and more particular, out of the, uh, the blade itself. Um, now, obviously, uh, the power of stopping the camera and going into the future, I, I, I actually spent some time um, trying to get these out. Now, the bearing itself comes with the race and, uh, and, and, and the bearings inside, and they fit it inside and also, also onto the hub, and they're, they're a clearance fit. That means they're very, very tight. And typically, when you read the instructions, the only thing that's holding them in is the grease. So what I've done here is, um, this is one here that has had the, um, the race taken out. Just take that out of your way. There we go. So this is what it should look like when it's finished. We've taken the lip seal off that sits in the groove, that just comes off. And then this is, is comes out here. Now the way I did this, this is one here, is um, basically, it's, it's with a toothbrush. Um, what we have to do, the thing that's holding it in is the grease. So lots and lots of hot water, even boiling water, and you're scrubbing away the grease under the sink until you start to get the um, track to move. And then you're just working around, working around, working around, and getting it to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then on a wooden bench, I won't do it here because it'll upset the microphones, you were just gently tapping, 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 uh, making sure not to damage anything. So make sure it's very soft, very wood. I just had like two taps and it came came to the top. And then once it's at the top, like it is here, um, just very carefully with a little screwdriver and it'll just pop out. Okay. And obviously this one's been cleaned just to make sure it did actually pop out on camera. But it should look something like this. It should just be a little bit of grease left inside. And then it's a case of just cleaning the rag off, cleaning all that out. So once you have the bearing races clear, the next thing to do is to take off the little lip seal. Um, now this is just a, a little rubber seal, so very gently, doesn't take a lot of force. Just peel it back ever so slightly. Let's try it on this side. And you just get an edge and it just pops out, like so. And you can just gently work it out. And it just comes out. Just peels it back. That's two. And then the same on this one. So, just ever so gently grab a hole to break the seal. And then just chase it out with a little screwdriver or something. Okay, so we've now got the three lip seals off. Um, we've got all the bearing races out. So, we've got three of those, two, three. And then the final thing to do is the, the uh, taper roller bearing in the top has its part still left inside. So I'll just show that to the camera. There we go. So this one here sits inside. Now it is, um, as I say, it's a clearance fit, so it's a, it's a snug fit. Um, but the way we actually do this is just to take a screwdriver very gently and just a couple of taps and you can see it just came straight out. And the trick is keeping it parallel. If you can keep it parallel, it's, uh, so that's one, there's no, there's no force there at all. And then the final one, just look at that one. Just one tap, two. Okay, so that's all the three blades. We've taken care of all the three blades here now. Now those are ready to be sanded and uh, cleaned, reassembled. The final part, before we do all that, 
is the hub. Now the hub has exactly the same races inside here. These ones here, there was a channel, a deep channel that it sat in, so you couldn't actually get a screwdriver in and get some leverage. Um, so on this one, there we go, you can actually get a little screwdriver in and it should just fit underneath, just very gently, just work it out, try not to do any damage or scratch anything, just very gently, just ease out, probably need a stronger screwdriver. Just work it round, there you go, that's one, you can see there's a little bit of grease, that's pretty much all that's holding it in. Two. And the final one. Okay, so that was actually the easiest one to do. So the hardest part was getting these out of the blade. So just take your time with them. They will come out. You just have to be very patient and rock them backwards and forwards. You'll get a little bit of play, then it'll start to get a bit more. And I just ran them under a hot tap, as I said, with some um, dish soap and just start to get rid of the grease and get the grease out, get the grease out. And then eventually tap, tap, and it comes out. So there you have it. So that's what's a fully broken down auto prop H6 propeller looks like. Now we're going to swap all these parts out. We're going to check inside the blades for damage, make sure all the threads are fine. And then once we've cleaned it all, we're going to put it back together and I'll show you how to do that next.